Okay, let me begin the interview with you. Thank you for joining us, Coach Gibby, this afternoon. Yeah. How are you doing? Nice to hear you. Happy to hear you. Huh? Big, big test for us, for everybody, for not for only sport, uh, you know, people, but also for all hum humanity, you know, all over the yeah. world. So it's a big test for us. Uh, and for sure, uh, these... Uh, quarantine times, uh, these thing at home times, uh, it will change humanity in one or another way, it will change humanity. So okay. uh, hopefully uh, everything will be okay as, as soon as possible and we will uh, come back to real life. Where, where are you now? Uh, I'm in Bandung. I'm still in Bandung, man. Uh, I'm, I'm, I have one uh, chance to leave uh, to Lithuania. Uh, it was March 23. It was or organized uh, uh, charter from uh, Bali to Lithuania, direct flight, because it was 150 people from Lithuania having holidays in Bali. Mm -hmm. And the uh, Lithuanian embassy from Japan, they organized the charter, they helped us. But uh, still uh, in, inside the team, we still haven't uh, done uh, uh, fast decisions. So I was forced uh, to stay and uh, I'm staying right now and waiting for I build decisions. Okay. Well, um, how do you keep yourself busy now uh, during the self-quarantine? Well, first, first week it was very easy. I, I was sure that it won't maybe be so, so uh, long. Uh, now my opinion has changed, but uh, first week was very easy because uh, I planned uh, all my June month of June uh, planning of uh, practices, of Pravira Bandung practices in case in that scenario, if uh, the championship is still online. So uh, if, if we are coming back, if we are still with the same players, with import players, I already have a plan A, plan A, let's say. Mm -hmm. Of course, I, I have plenty of time so I can organize easy plan B without <laughs> import players, for example. Mm -hmm. And, you know, a lot of plans, you know. Also, I'm watching a lot of uh, coaching clinics. Yeah. It's perfect uh, way timing for us, for coaches, to improve uh, our our uh, basketball knowledge. Uh, some new details, some maybe uh, already forgotten old details. You know, is good. You know, and of course to read books, uh, to read some some kind of books at your relaxed time, and you know, and to watch some movies. Yeah. Uh, more or less, like everybody, you know. Yeah. yeah. Um, well, let, let's talk a little bit about basketball and let's talk a bit about your being the head coach of Prawira Bandung. Um, at the beginning of the season, would you expect that uh, your team, Prawira Bandung, will find itself struggle during the season? Uh, well, as, uh, as, as the team is absolutely new, a lot of new players, uh, of course, coaches new, everything. So, yeah. I expected we, we, we can struggle, but maybe not so much like we struggle in the first part of the season. Mm -hmm. You know, in the second part of the season, we already changed the uh, import players and we, we finally we founded our game. Finally, it was not so much ups and downs on the game. You know, I would strongly be sure that Pravira Bandung in, in the month of uh, March we were among three hottest teams in the league, which yeah. is together with Satramuda, Hangtua and Pravira. I yeah. strongly believe like that. But of course, it took time for us to understand the system, for us to adjust uh, to my style, for us to adjust each player to each player, each player to coach, coach to players and so on. It, it took us time you know, to, to understand all those details. Uh, I expected it a little bit uh, faster but a lot of struggles uh, with, with import players. Uh, first of all, we started season with two import players, then, then we were not happy. So, you know, we struggled some, some, uh, some bad, bad moments, but then we figured out how to do it. And uh, I think we reached our, uh, our game in the last few, few, few weeks. Yes, yeah, so it's uh, one of the highlight is uh, when Pravi Rabandung beat uh, Lufra Surabaya in, in Surabaya, 79-72. Uh, yeah. What, um, what keys to uh, your success in that game? Well, I mean, what, 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 what's the, the, the most important aspect that uh, in your uh, gameplay that executed well during that game? Uh, yeah, we, we were extremely disciplined in that game, first of all. 
uh, also extremely consistent. Uh, our game plan was uh, really uh, simple, but uh, was effective. You know, we, we, we were trying to at attack each local guy because they already not the youngest team, not the youngest blood, you know. Some of players are already, you know, uh, veterans. So we, we were trying to attack them consistently and we had some uh, uh, defensive uh, stuff to how to stop uh, Savon Goodman and how to stop uh, uh, Kolovale. Uh, of course, they scored a lot, but uh, it's the individuals won't win the game anyway. You, you need some t help from the team and we, we just uh, were better as a team. We were patient all game long and, and disciplined all game long. And, uh, you know, we had vision in that game and I'm happy that players uh, uh, were following the plan, finally. You know, day by day, game by game, they understand the plan better and better. They understand the system better and better. But, you know, of course, every coach, every fan of the team, every, everybody in the club, organization, they, they believe it will happen much more or faster. But, you know, if, if you are if you are a big organization if if you are if you want to become big club you need to have vision loyalty and faith you know and you must be patient for sure uh, and uh, you know maybe that game was like crucial for us which which uh, where we needed to win and uh, after that win i believe my players started to believe that they can do something something bigger in that season in terms of a foreign player, uh, I think uh, we can see that Prawira Bandung is feel comfortable with the uh, addition of uh, Burns and also Markel Beasley uh, complementing the uh, uh, Tinsley. Uh, can you comment a little bit about your local player, especially Arif Hidayat? Yeah, Arif is a special, special guy, you know. Um, he's not only a special player, you know. His character makes him a special person. He's a true fighter. I, I was telling for, for all the team that this is a great example we have on our roster, on our team, how to go to the war. Because a lot of players are telling, you know, coach, I'm just here to enjoy the game, to have some fun. You know, mm -hmm. I don't agree with that. For me, the game court is battlefield. And mm -hmm. Arif Hidayat was one of those warriors I had. One of those soldiers I, I, I could trust, you know. And, you know, if, if you analyze our team, uh, appear, uh, you know, our team games, in the, especially in the first round, you can see that uh, all games, we were unbelievable con uh, competitive team, unbelievable ambitious team. And actually, we fighted all games until the last seconds, three games overtime. And, you know, actually, to be open, we did it only with local players. Yeah mostly with local players we of course we had import players they also had benefit for us but not as big as other teams had okay. you know uh, coach uh, let me ask you a little bit about your coaching philosophy i mean um, if a players uh, are going to be coached by you what should they expect from you i i will tell you a very short story about that how to be a good player there in my team. Uh, my passion, one of my biggest passion is to, to watches, you know, uh, watches for the clock, okay. for okay. the time. Yeah. And I watched Google, uh, not Google, but YouTube video, how best watches, Rolex and everything, how yep. they are made, how they are produced. So first of all, they are produced by human yep. with, with hands. Another thing, it takes a lot of time. And, you know, details are so small in these, producing these, these watches. And, but these details are so important. And yes, it takes a lot of time, but these watches are extremely big price. You know, this is exactly what I, I am talking to compare about my team. I want to be that, that person who, who wants to, uh, my players to understand those small, small details how important they are and to make my team very expensive team you know what i mean yes yes these watches are made by human these watches to to make these watches you must take a lot of time details are so small but they are so important in these good watches and yes 
it's very long process but that makes watch is very expensive the same with good team good level team you must have you must pay attention to very small details and only when everybody understands these details only when everybody understands their own responsibility on the team then when it's uh, the team uh, machine starts to go you know you can have good mercedes benz but you cannot drive it if you have only three wheels right yes it's true <laughs> so, you know you, you need all components, same right. like with team, you know, you need everybody. But I mean, not only players, mm. coaches, uh, managers, uh, organization, everybody, mm. you know. Uh, yes, what I remember last season, everybody's telling, oh, coach, you win the league, you win the... No, I, I didn't win the league. You know what? We win it together. Mm. That's that's very big difference. I, I haven't ever heard that some of... Coach will win the league by himself, or some of player he will sure. win the league by himself. It's not happening. You can sure. win only together. Okay. Being patient, being everything. So you know, for me, uh, the player first of all must be professional. For me, the player first of all must be a good char character, uh, wishing to learn, hungry to learn, hungry to be better, and you know. I had this discussion with my coaching staff in Paravira. What do we need? Experience or young blood? You know, first of all, in the first start of the uh, uh, season, we, st we th thought, yeah, we maybe need experience. But then, hell no. We need young blood. We need to uh, sacrifice their body. We need hustle players. We need those who will dive on the floor who will uh, sacrifice for the local players for the team for the uh, who will have pride to wear Pravira jerseys you know and that uh, if you work hard at the end of the day ba basketball god will wear your team color you know he will wear blue color of jerseys you know and he will help you on the game that's what I truly believe Coach, um, you've been coaching professional team and also from Instagram and from um, internet, I can find that you also have coached like a younger player. Last, uh, last, uh, last thing that I've, uh, I've seen on the uh, Google is that you coach the uh, Lithuanian national team under 20. Um, uh, for you yourself, uh, which, uh, which player that you most comfortable coaching with? Professional, like, you know, older player or younger player, like under 20 player? Which one are you most comfortable coaching with? It's a very good question. It's really a good question. Uh, you know, if coach loves his job, he will, he will love uh, to, to coach everywhere. But, you know, the very big difference, I would tell that the most hard, hard job is to, to teach those young guys who still don't know something, who still, you know, are on the way to professional level. And it's the most hardest job, starting from the very early age of kids. This is the most hard job. I know what I'm talking. I, I worked uh, like kids uh, coach from six, from seven years old, from the first grade, you know, with kids. You know, it's very hard job because you are not only the coach, mm -hmm. you are his Mother, you are his father you are his best friend sometimes you are his enemy his doctor his uh, I don't know his everything you know and for with professional level yeah you just coming you you just showing set offenses you just preparing team for uh, how how to win it uh, the game you know it's very hard question it's it's big discussion on that but for me uh, for sure I would tell responsibility and pressure i would tell no i would tell pressure is bigger with a professional team but responsibility is even bigger with kids because you are responsible not only for the basketball player you're responsible for the human person how you will grow him up okay uh, still related to my last question uh, we know yeah, that lithuania is a uh, uh, still you know way ahead from indonesia basketball um uh, from your um, coaching experience teaching your younger kids uh, um, basketball from the younger age uh, what do you think the most important thing that indonesian basketball needs to implement so that they can catch up with their neighbors 
Uh, can you just, I heard you every sentence, but the end of question I didn't hear. Can you repeat, please, the question? Yes. Uh, what would Indonesian basketball needs to do to implement for their younger kids so that Indonesian basketball can catch up with the other countries? Yeah, first of all, it's not about quantity, it's about quality. I believe it's like that because I enter some basketball academies, some basketball schools to do some clinics. I see one one small mistake, it's too much kids on the court, you know, at the same moment. Some, some of them are practicing 35, 40 kids at the same moment. You know, one kid will get the ball in his one hour, 30 minutes practice five times in his hand. Another maybe 25 times. Another kid will get the ball only four, three times and he will come back out home and say, oh, it's boring, you know. First of all, we must show attention for the kids from the very early age that they would fell in love with basketball. Uh, and this is very important to reduce the number of kids to show them bigger attention. I know it's everything about money. You know, it's everything about uh, how, how to, you know, how to survive for those basketball academies, everything. That's why they practice so much kids at the same time. I've seen you uh, uploading some posts about the uh, you know, beats and also the uh, trees and also mountains in, in, around, around in West Java. Is this uh, one of your hobby now? Yeah, actually, actually local people and local nature is uh, the top what Indonesia has, you know. That's why uh, I, I'm so brave to come back here to, to continue another season and even another season, you know. For me, the fans of IBL, the nature, is uh, the, the local people is the best memories I have from the very first season. And, you know, in the second season, these things are even better, you know. Every time I travel somewhere to see sightseeing something or to the mountains, to volcanoes or to the beaches, every time for me is an exotic place because, I'm, you know, I'm from East Europe anyway. So for me, it's really exotic. Uh, for me, it's really me memorable. And, uh, you know, I like, I like that. I like game of basketball because it opens the world, you know. You becoming the citizen of the world. You know, it's my seventh uh, different country I'm working at and uh, I'm happy to, to have a job like that. It's not a job something like with computer, with uh, sitting in office, in office or somehow. It's a job with people, first of all, with human, with characters, with different characters. You must adjust to that. You must also adjust to different culture of each country, to different food even, to different style of basketball. And that's what makes the, this sport great. All right. Thank you so much, Coach Gibby. Thank you for your time. And then uh, hopefully, you know, the season can come back again, the league can come back again, and hopefully you can come back again and uh, take Prawira Bandung to the next level. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Best wishes. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Thank you. Bye.